Hello, we are from CSB Bank, a proud Indian institution from the BFSI sector. We are excited to upgrade our new mobile banking application to make banking easier and more accessible for our customers. We are creating this video for app upload activity in Play Store. In this video, we will be giving a detailed walkthrough of the CSB mobile banking application, showcasing the four core functionalities on how a customer can do self-user registration on the CSB mobile banking application, view his account balances, download his account statements, add beneficiary, transfer funds, and check his profile details. Now we are going to launch the mobile banking application. The app is getting loaded. To start off, the user need to accept certain mandatory permissions for the app to work, like the device location. Then the user need to allow for the notification. It is not a mandatory feature, but the user may opt for that. Further, the user need to accept the mandatory safety guidelines and continue. Further permissions to be accepted are the phone calls, SMS. Now the user need to complete the SIM and device banning activity. The user need to select the registered mobile number from the device and continue. This process needs to be completed within the stipulated time as shown below. Now the user need to enter the customer ID. and proceed. Further, the user need to enter the OTP received on his registered mobile number. The OTP needs to be verified. Post validation, the user need to create a new M pin for the application. The M pin should be six digit. The user need to again reconfirm the M pin entered. Further, the user need to register his biometric device settings. Now the user has successfully self-registered himself on the CSV mobile banking application. He needs to log in with the entered credentials. Now the user will enter the MPIN that he has already created and logs in. and the user navigates to the main dashboard. So this is the dashboard of the user where he can view his multiple accounts and check the balances. The user can further scroll down and see the latest transactions on the main statement. While doing a fund transfer, the user need to select the automation process and complete the authentication. For any financial transactions, one authentication process needs to be completed, for which there are multiple parameters. We will be using the net banking credentials to complete the authentication. User need to enter the customer ID and the net banking password. and click on verify to validate the, de the details. Now the automation has been successful. The app will log the user out. The user need to log in again with the created M pin. In this case, the user has uh, already registered for the biometric settings, so he has logged in with the biometric uh, values. Now, as you can see, we'll do a fund transfer activity. The, the user goes to the fund transfer menu page. The user needs to select the debiting account first, and then he has to select the beneficiaries from the list of beneficiaries displayed. User need to enter the amount that he want to transact and send the money to. User need to select the transfer mode and enter the remarks in that field. User can proceed with the transaction. 
The review page is there for the user to review and confirm the details that he has already entered. The user confirms it. And on OTP has been triggered to his registered mobile number, which the user need to enter. Post validation of the OTP, the transition has been successfully completed. Now we'll go to one more functionality of adding a beneficiary to this account. Here the user need to select the account number of the beneficiary that he wants to add. User need to reconfirm the account number of the beneficiary. Select the account type. Enter the IFC code of the certain beneficiary. and verify the IFC code. Post validation, the user need to enter the beneficiary name and also add a nickname to the beneficiary. Further, the user submits its detail, a review, the review page is dispatched, which the user can verify and proceed. Now an OTP is triggered to the registered mobile number which the user needs to enter and submit. Post successful validation of the OTP, the beneficiary has been added successfully to the account. The user goes back to the dashboard and he can navigate to the statement to download a statement for one of his account. user goes to the download field and selects the PDF format as a statement download. The PDF downloaded is a password protected file. As you can see, this is the password protected file. The user has to open the document which has been downloaded and enter the password. Post validation of the password successfully, the file will be available for the user to view and usage. Now the user goes back to the main dashboard. He goes to the logout option and logs out. As such, the user has been logged out from the mobile banking application. That's all. Thank you.